lines. We're starting in three, two, one, go. Here goes playoffs match number three here on the Daily Division as all these machines race towards those pre-placed cubes near the center of the field. Looks like both alliances scooping up all but one of them. Red Alliance very nearly scooping up that last one, coming courtesy of the crew. But they'll run away instead through the loading zone here when drivers take controls. And their alliance leads by just five points. Here goes 4795, the e-spots for blue. Cone in their control as they run across the field and they place it with no drama on the middle row of that right node of the alliance grid. In comes their alliance partners again. That's the Robo Warriors. That 2659 machine you see there out of California. Back to the loading zone they go. Very well-tuned cycles now with all these teams having had at least 10, or excuse me, exactly 10 qualification matches to play over the course of the week. And plenty more throughout the earlier parts of the season to start dialing in these strategies. Round and around we go here. Here's 90 seconds left on the board. Your alliance is still separated by just seven points. Blue Alliance machine there. Robo Vikes coming at you out of Texas. Racing around in midfield. They get tangled up in some traffic for a quick moment. And then they drop a cube in the Blue Alliance community zone and then run back to the loading zone. They're doing incomplete cycles here to stage game pieces for their alliance partners. There's eSpots, also in blue bumpers. They jump up and over the Alliance charge station after placing a cube to form the fourth link of that Alliance grid. Now five showing for blue, five showing for red as well here as your score remains just about anybody's game. But if we've got almost a minute left to play still in six links on one side, this may be another one of those double full grids kind of matches. We'll just have to see how this all shakes out. Still very limited traffic. Fresta Valley gets caught in some of it for a quick moment there. They represent Virginia here in this match. Running forward now, crashing into the Blue Alliance machine of the Robo Vikes. They've moved into a defensive capacity, which is starting to slow down both the Blue Alliance cycles as well as some unintentional friendly fire as they slow down their own Alliance members for a quick moment. Full grid on blue. We're moving into supercharged territory, folks. Three points per game element added in into a node that already has the same type of game element scored. And wow, are those cubes coming in quick. Red Alliance, just a couple game pieces shy. It looks like actually two game pieces shy, but they will get the triple balance as does blue as time expires. Moving on in our upper bracket, with a clean 198 points. Yet again here on the Daily Division, just impressive scores all around. 198 blue, 188 red. And that means we'll see more of that blue alliance number seven in the upper bracket.